from fast jets, big cargo aircraft, and deep space satellites, Lockheed Martin has dominated its industry from military to space. But how did it get there? How did they seal their mark in history? Today at Finance Burr, we'll learn about the business of war and how Lockheed Martin dominates the military industry. But if you like this video or anything about finance, technology, or business, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, click that notify bell for upcoming videos. Lockheed Martin started with two companies, Lockheed Corporation and Martin Marietta Corporation, both icons in aircraft manufacturing. But today, we are going to focus more on Lockheed since they made more impact. Now, that doesn't mean that Martin Marietta was not on par. Martin Marietta was one of the best in missile and rocket technology, creating the AGM-12 Bullpup missile, the now-famous FGM-148 Javelin anti-tank missile, and rockets and spacecraft like the Atlas rockets, Magellan Space Probe, and the Viking Mars Probe. To understand Lockheed Martin, we need to go back to 1926, when Alan Lockheed, Kenneth Kay, Fred Keeler, and John Northrop, the future founder of Northrop, which will become Northrop Grumman, secured funding to form the Lockheed Aircraft Company in Hollywood. The company's first aircraft was developed from the Lockheed Model S1, which will become the Lockheed Vega. It was iconic. It was a 5-7 to seven seat high-wing monoplane that offered a very long-range capability. It was also the plane Amelia Earhart used when she flew solo across the Atlantic Ocean. In a span of two years, the company was successful, exceeding sales of over $1 million or over $17 million in today's money. But as the Roaring Twenties came to a close, something was lurking in the distance. The Great Depression ruined the market, and the company was forced to be sold for $40,000, or about $600,000 today. In 1934, Robert E. Grass was named the chairman of the company, and he will hold on to that position until his death. And then, World War II happened. It was one of the glory days of the company. It developed and produced countless aircraft. One of the most iconic is the twin-engine heavy fighter, the P-38 Lightning. It was also responsible for shooting down more Japanese aircraft than any other U.S. Army Air Forces type during the war. It is also particularly famous for being the aircraft that shot down Japanese Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto's airplane, who is the mastermind behind the Pearl Harbor attacks. Lockheed also produced aircrafts under license such as the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress and Hudson Bombers. After the war, some companies started developing back to civilian aircraft. One of them was Lockheed. Lockheed developed a radical 43-passenger transatlantic aircraft known as the L049 Constellation, which can fly from New York to London in 13 hours. But Lockheed was successful in this sector as Boeing took over the civilian passenger aircraft scene with the new, faster, and better jet-engined Boeing 707. But Lockheed was not yet defeated. They found another opportunity this time in the spying business. Enter Lockheed's Skunk Works division, one of the most secretive and considered the best in the aircraft industry. They developed record-breaking aircraft and were revolutionary to some. From the high-altitude U-2 to the record-breaking fastest aircraft in the world, SR-71 Blackbird, and the first stealth aircraft, F-117 Nighthawk. You name it. Skunk Works can make it. Aside from the occasional spying and record-breaking by Lockheed, they also developed other military aircraft. One of the most iconic and considered the workhorse of the air forces around the world is the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. Developed in 1954, this durable four-engine transport is still serving today, almost 70 years after its first flight. Lockheed also developed the first submarine-launched ballistic missile with Polaris in 1956, which would soon be followed by the Poseidon and Trident submarine-launched nuclear missiles. Lockheed was also in business with U.S. Air Force fighter aircraft. 
The first full operation jet fighter used by the US Air Force was the Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star, which was also the first American jet to score a kill. Lockheed also developed the F-104 Starfighter, which was the world's first Mach 2 fighter. And by 1981, Lockheed developed one of the best sophisticated air superiority fighters, the F-22 Raptor Stealth Fighter which we all know today. Lockheed also developed other aircrafts for the military such as the C-141 Star Lifter and C-5 Galaxy cargo aircrafts and the P-3 Orion Patrol aircraft. They've also developed space tech such as the Hubble Space Telescope. They've also developed other aircraft from other companies such as the General Dynamics F-16, McDonnell Douglas A-4 Skyhawk, and many more. In the 1990s, merger between Lockheed and Martin Marietta began, and they finally merged in March 1994. After this merger, the company was then known as Lockheed Martin, and its rise will not stop. In 2001, Lockheed Martin won the contract to build the advanced F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter, which has three configurations. F-35A used a conventional runway for the Air Force. The F-35C used short takeoff and landing for carriers in the Navy. And the revolutionary F-35B of the Marines, which used technology such as the vertical takeoff and landing, similar to the jump jet catering to the needs of every branch of the armed forces. 2015 was the best for the company. They acquired helicopter maker and one of the best in the industry, Sikorsky Aircraft, for $7.1 billion. They've also signed a contract with the US Navy to construct the Freedom-class littoral combat ship worth $362 million. Lockheed Martin also won an $867 million seven-year contract to train Australia's next-generation military pilots. The contracts don't stop there. On August 13, 2018, Lockheed Martin revealed their successful bid for a substantial $480 million contract awarded by the United States Air Force. The contract aimed at the development of a cutting-edge hypersonic weapon prototype. They've also won contracts with NASA worth $2.6 billion under the Commercial Lunar Payload Services, which makes them eligible to bid on delivering sciences and technology payloads to the moon for NASA. To this day, Lockheed Martin is one of the biggest and largest military contractors of the U.S. military and other militaries worldwide. With over $65 billion in revenue and a 5% increase per year, Lockheed Martin is on a path to the stars. With contracts and production of aircraft such as the F-35 and F-16 in high demand and the development of better systems, Lockheed Martin will continue to be on top and their legacy in the business of war is forever marked in history. But if you are interested in how did Nike dominate the sports industry or the awaited Apple Vision Pro and its capabilities, check out our channel for more amazing videos about finance stories, new technologies, and business tips and ideas. If you like this video, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. But for now, this is Finance Spur. Have a great day.